You have written that I am one of the best loved psychologists in the United States, but I'm also probably the most hated one. What do you mean by that statement? Well, I mean that I'm loved because I see a lot of people and I write a lot of books and articles and they help literally millions of people, so some of them love me. But on the other hand, I have unconventional views and I sometimes say shit and fuck and things like that. So many very conventional people hate me. Do you want Al to be ready to talk to him? Yeah. I only had one brother and one sister, and my sister for a long time I didn't relate to very well. Nobody did. She was a depressed person, but my brother was very uh, rebellious as a child, not to me, but to my mother and father, but then he got over that and was a very sensible and sane person and was one of the prime members of our board of directors and took care of my finances. So he did me a lot of good and I hope I did him a lot of good. And he was always one of my very, very favorite persons. You described your brother as some of his behaviors rebellious and psychopathic. What, what were some examples of that? What did he do? Well, as a child, he did what he wanted to do. And if he wanted to have a a defecation, he did it on the sidewalk. So he did any damn thing within reason. He didn't kill anybody, but he broke practically all my mother's and other people's rules. A family that grows up without a father figure is, first of all, what, an uneven family. It's not balanced. Uh, his mother was an active participant in uh, to religious affairs and she was always going to women's groups and organizations very rarely in the house I don't, you know so so he and his brother and his sister managed to get along pretty well by themselves they were always self-sufficient i became an atheist at the age of 12 because i said in all probability there is no god and if there is he will honor my not believing in him. He's not going to cut my balls off because I don't believe. But there's very little chance, so I'll assume, just as I assume there is no Santa Claus and no angels, I'll assume there's no God. And I got along very well with that. Other people didn't, but I did. Religion was just a word to him which... Uh described other people, but uh, he, he was basically a, uh, a rational observer. Uh, what's the key word for uh, a non-religious person who uh, is just non-religious, that's all. It, 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 I, can't, I can't think of the word now, but he had no religion, there's no question about it. Well, 
I was always a rebel. I was, first of all, a mild socialist. I thought that capitalism was had its points, but was no damn good in many respects, and that it would be more to the help of people if they were socialistic. But then I became attached to two men who had been leaders of the Young Communist League and quit because of Stalin. They were very much against Stalin. And they thought about starting an American revolution based on the principles of Thomas Jefferson and people like that. And I thought they had a very good point. And I was very revolutionary because I was willing to go fight for the cause and maybe a few people would get killed, but many more people would be benefited in the long run.